Lord. All right. Well, I think I think I've got all the little steps done. So good morning. Good morning, big waves out there. Good to see everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Coach Palmer had another Zoom this morning, kind of got called into something for corporate. So you're going to have me and Coach Myra today. So excited for that, though. When I sent this to Myra, I told her it was her and Palmer. So whatever she did, she understood. Who knows? Um, I'm doing my best. We're kind of getting ready for this trip next week. And I feel like I'm going a million miles an hour in like all different directions. So today's word was a really good one for me because today's word was refresh. And, you know, the kind of the definition there to restore strength and animation, revive, um, to restore, maintain by renewing, renewing supply, um, stimulate. And I just thought, oh my gosh, how nice would it be to get a refresh, right? Like who doesn't need that? So some quotes that I found that I loved, I'm going to tell you two of them and then I'll shush, but rest when you're weary, refresh and renew yourself, your body, your mind, and your spirit. Then get back to work. That's Ralph Marston. And I think sometimes I can get caught up in, I don't know if anybody can relate to this, where I think that the only way that I can refresh myself or rest is like, I don't know, an eight week vacation, which I've never had that. So I don't know why I would get this idea where I just, I can't appreciate the little moments in the day, but I'm going to kind of talk about that, about what are the things that if you're feeling overwhelmed, right? If you're feeling a little bit burnout, um, what can we do? normally, right? Like in our day-to-day -day life in order to refresh ourselves, because sometimes that eight-week vacation is not possible. So the first thing is to distance, distance yourself. So, you know, take a moment to step away from your daily routine. So even if it's just an hour, right? Like even if you can only carve out 15 minutes, do something just to step away and remove yourself from that thing that's depleting you. So, you know, I would say this could be a hard one for me. I have a really hard time um, taking a break if there's anything on my to-do list. And if you kind of work for yourself, your to-do list is never to done. <laughs> so it, that can be a really, really hard thing. But even if it's just 15 minutes, Give yourself a chance to take a break, get some new scenery, walk away from that to-do list. The next thing, if you're feeling overwhelmed, and this one can be a little crazy sounding, but serve. Find somebody else to feed into. Find somebody else that you can serve because by sharing your skill with somebody else or your time or your attention, that actually allows you to refill your bucket, right? Kind of can sound a little strange if you're feeling a little empty, but absolutely serving somebody else can actually help you feel that refreshment. And then number three, get outside. And I feel this, I talk to everybody about my quote, little ocean, right? My hardest thing, the thing I was the most worried about leaving California besides my loved ones was the ocean. I love the ocean. I love the water. I love watching it move and all of that. But I'll tell you, I go sit out back and I watch my little swimming pool and the water moving around in there and the little birds, you guys know, the little birds flitting around and it absolutely brings so much calm and this feeling of renewal. And so I call it my little ocean. I love my little ocean. I don't think I'm ever moving because I like this swimming pool. If I move again, it's to a place, another place with a swimming pool, but get outside. Nature can offer us a amount of peace that you cannot find anywhere else. So take the time to smell the roses. Right, right now I've got a gardenia bush that's going bonkers and I go visit it every day to go smell all its new blooms and it does actually bring you peace. Breathe in that fresh air, enjoy the beauty of a tree or you know, swim in the ocean, dig in your garden, whatever it is that you can do to go get outside. And then number four, focus on gratitude. And I don't think there's a single lesson that we do that we do not talk about gratitude in some way, but starting your day by listing your blessings is a great way to ground yourself, right? When you're thinking about all the ways that we're blessed, 
it's so much easier to get through and tackle that to-do list and get all the other things done because you just walk with a different, you know, pull to your shoulders, right? You just feel so much better. And then number five, this can be a hard one for some of us, <laughs> unplug. So pick a day. This article that I was reading through, it was saying pick just one day, pick one day a week where you completely unplug. I've, I don't know if I've ever done this outside of like a rare camping trip maybe, but where you absolutely walk away from your phone, um, turn off the television, spend time with the people that you love, doing something that you love with no electronics. And then lastly, oh no, two more, sorry, I'm almost done, Myra. Two more, <laughs> one, clean up, clean it up, right? So clean up your diet um, in terms of, you know, heavy food weighs us down physically and emotionally. Alcohol does the same thing. Like we might enjoy a tot, as my dad would say, here and there, but if you're feeling worn out, give your body the chance to heal from the things that we throw at it. Eliminate the junk food if you can. You know, decrease your alcohol consumption. Just clean up your diet to give yourself a break. And then lastly, tap into spirituality. So pray, read your Bible find a daily devotion, but plug into something bigger than yourself because it's a huge comfort to know that we're not alone, that there is something that absolutely has our back and that we are cared for too. So that's what I had this morning, Myra. Thank you for jumping on here with me, even though you were expecting Coach Palmer, most likely. No, listen, and thank you for your message. And I have to say, when you said one of the things uh, to help you refresh was serve, I thought you said surf initially, and oh. I'm thinking, okay, where's she going on this? I mean, I know she's a California girl, but uh, I was Sounds like, I don't great. know where she's going. Yeah, nope, but anyway, surf, surf. great job, great job. Uh, you know, real quickly, and I have some very short notes as well this morning. The meaning of refresh, as Andrew says, is give you strength or energy to reinvigorate. You know, so I really needed this word this morning because I don't think I do a really I think I do a decent job in some areas and I don't do a really good job in other areas so to refresh our mind quickly and to also reduce our stress here are some things we can do now don't laugh at some of the things I say um you need to meditate you can exercise take a, a walk outside take a nap and stay off of social media. That's an area where I've got to do a better job of is I don't do a really good job of staying away from my phone or my computer as much as I should. So I think we're all probably guilty of that in some sense. But so on days that we feel a little burned out, how many of you feel burned out? How many have been fatigued? How many of you have felt so indecisive and anxious? Well, all of us have. Just stop, just stop take some needed time away from what you're doing. You know, another way, a very healthy way to refresh our mind is to hang out with a circle of friends that you know will always, always bring happiness and positivity to your circle. You know, sometimes, let's be honest, it's really hard to find that unique, complete circle of people that fit that. But when you do, you've got to absolutely value that almost more than anything. So, you know, there's nothing more refreshing to, than big, big laughs and fun to help our state of mind. So another way to refresh, and please don't think I'm crazy when I say this, is to take a short vacation by yourself. You know, when I read that, I was like, "Ooh, I don't know if I could do that. I might could do it for two days, but then I'd be ready for some buddies to be around. So, but remember this, when it comes to stress, how we cope with it is so much more important than how it came about and how it got to us. If we refresh our minds and believe that we can handle our stress, then it won't affect us as much. And it, and, and it would help the person, well, let me read my notes, then it won't affect us as much as it would the person that thinks their burden is unbearable. Now, you can't change who you are, but you can change 
what you have in your head. You can refresh what you're thinking about and you can put some fresh air in your brain. So think about this, three R's. Relax, then we refresh, and ultimately we recharge. So that was kind of short and sweet. I hope you grabbed a nugget or two. Again, Andrea, thank you. Miss Glue, as I love to refer to Andrea as, outstanding uh, message, Andrea. Uh, I will hope and say this one time, go and refresh your mind today. Love y'all. Have a great day. Great message, Myra. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Have a great Wednesday. Can't wait to see you back tomorrow. Happy, happy message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.